Alan, how on earth do you move from TV shows into the digital facilitation world? How does that, how does that work? I didn't, I didn't realize you're going to start with that question. Thanks very much. Um, so yeah, basically, yes, I have indeed been on 14 different TV shows in multiple countries. How it really started out was in 2002, someone said to me that I should actually go and become a TV or radio presenter uh, over in the UK. Uh, yes, I do have a face for radio. Um, but in short, I thought it'd be a great way to get into TV by being a contestant on a multitude of different shows, including the likes of Love on a Saturday Night with Davina McCall, all the way down to Dick and Dom with the Bungalow. Yes, I have been on those shows. Um, but in realistic terms, case where I was trying to be smart, I wanted to get into the industry. I thought it could be all the producers. Then they would get me in as a presenter somehow. That didn't obviously work. So then I had to go get a job after university, which started off at EasyJet, went into the world of sales, moved to London, and the rest is history. Then I moved into digital marketing in 2009. Fantastic. And it's, uh, that's a, it's an interesting background. And I guess just kind of goes to reflect on the level of career support that a lot of people get at that young age in terms of helping people understand how they can actually get involved in the industries. And it is a lot easier than a lot of people think, but there are lots of pitfalls and, and red flags along the way to, to, to that, that route of getting there, you know, and I remember studying software engineering at school at university and being told that that was how I needed to get involved in website design. Turned out I didn't really want to work in website design in the first place. Um, I just thought I did. 